can you plug a roster into a plan or do you have to adjust a plan off of spring training to what you have? You know, part, part, part of managing is adjusting to what you have. So uh, I'm going to adjust to what we got. And we're going to play the win, and, and we go from there. If it's a team that doesn't have any speed, I'm not going to try to steal bases. That just wouldn't be smart. So yeah, I'm going to adjust to whatever team we decide to have at the end of spring training. That's how I'm going to manage. And, and a good example, uh, the Orioles a couple of years ago, they didn't run because they, they hit three run homers. So it wasn't smart for Showalter to try to steal bases because they would get them thrown out. Same, same thing here. Whenever we get to that, you know, those 25 players, I'll make an adjustment and I'll see what we have and, and we'll manage that way. What kind of manager can they expect to, to work with over the coming season? Somebody who communicates a lot. And I think that's one of my strengths. Uh, the respect, I respect the player, because I know it's not an easy game to play. So whatever I do as a manager, I think as a player, like how would I feel when somebody's talking to me? So I think that's my, my main thing, uh, the respect that I have for the players. And, and I know they're human beings, and they got lives, they got families. So that, that's the biggest thing for me. And the other one, when it comes to me as a manager, is, is someone that I know I don't know, I don't have all the answers. So I'm always looking for useful information, and, and, and it could come from, from different places, from coaches, from the front office. So you know, that player is always going to know where he stands, because I know that's also big, the honesty. And so yeah, I think they'll be fine. Thank you.